A blessed Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to our third day of our daily devotions. And today we'll be hearing from Dmitry Zerebnikov of the Word of Grace Bible Institute, and he's based in the U.S. He will be reflecting on Romans 8, 24 to 25, and the title of today's devotion is Genuine Hope. Genuine Hope. Romans 8, 24 to 25. For in hope we have been saved, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, with perseverance we wait eagerly for it. And, oops, I'm sorry. Dimitri writes, At the moment of salvation, every believer is given hope. The hope every Christian has is as sure as their salvation. I like that. Yung pag-asa na mayroon tayo ay kasing sigurado ng um, ating kaligtasan. Are we really saved beyond reasonable doubt? Yes. Um, because everything about our salvation is from, in, through, and by God. Right? And so, therefore, the hope that uh, we have is as well sure. It's part of the glorious experience of being born again. How in God's providence and provision do we obtain this hope from day one of our salvation? By faith, we embrace the present aspect of our salvation. By hope, we embrace the future aspect of our salvation. By faith, we embrace the, our present. We are indeed saved. By hope, we uh, embrace the future aspect of our salvation, and that is our being glorified. That's being with God. In the present time, hope helps us fix our eyes not on present sufferings but on future glory. Hope is something that gives us meaning and strength for the next step in life. If there's no gospel hope, then there's nothing to hold on to. Evaluate your heart. What do you hope in? Do you have hope that ties you to future glory? And that is uh, a beautiful um, probing question. What do you hope on? What, what, where, where does your hope lie on? Tayo mga mananampaltahan ng Panginoon Diyos, our hope is anchored on the future glory that awaits us. Kasing sigurado ito ng salvation na mayroon tayo because it is all from God. The end result of this hope is patient waiting. The attitude of eagerness and endurance is the fruit of this hope. When this spiritual eyes, we see future glory. When with spiritual eyes we see future glory, our soul gains excitement and strength to wait with perseverance. Like in this pandemic, we know that there will come a time we're in wala nang karamdaman, wala nang pighati, wala nang sakit, wala nang sakit, wala nang heartaches. And uh, that leads us to persevere. That would that leads us to keep on hoping. That leads us to keep on uh, keeping on uh, to live uh, for Christ. Yes, it's a struggle at times, but because of that hope na yung ating paghihirap sa panahon na ito it would pale well into comparison to the future glory that awaits a genuine believer then that helps us persevere we have to admit that when we when that we often fail at waiting in our lives and we fall short in persevering genuine hope is the remedy ang sabi ni Dimitri ang sagot daw sa ating pag uh, palya minsan sa paghihintay sa pag persevere is yung hope if you believe indeed in that hope and how would we believe it's in scripture if you are so immersed in God's word if you are studying your word your 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 bibles and feasting on the promises of God for the future, then, ito ang kasagutan sa ating paghihintay, sa ating pag-struggle, sa ating pag Take a moment to think about your hope. 
When was the last time this hope changed your reactions, actions, and attitudes in life? Diba? I, I, in all honesty, um, I'm, I'm concerned about this virus. I'm concerned about my family getting this virus. My, my loved ones, I'm, I'm concerned about anyone in the church getting this virus. But if we fix our eyes on that hope, the hope that we would be with Jesus in all eternity, that yung panahon na yon would be glorious at hindi natin kailan man siguro may isip yung mga pag- paghihirapan dito then um, we will persevere we, uh, uh, personally i would keep on preaching god's word and i would go beyond above and beyond my own struggles and just by grace i uh, magpatuloy sa pag pangaral ng salita ng dios how about you uh, how would that translate in your own lives Sana makita sa atin na um, yung pag-asa na yon ay uh, ang um, isa sa mga major things that we uh, take into consideration with regards to how we live our lives. Does the hope of your salvation make you eager for the life to come and endure things in life without grumbling? So, uh, if we are grumblers, kung reklamador tayo, and yeah, we all have those uh, days wherein we grumble. But to a believer, upon being reminded of that hope, then that would change. We would continue on with uh, our walk, ever regardless of the situation. And kung mag-grumble man, kung mag-struggle man, we would always go back to God and uh, be encouraged by the hope that awaits us. Right? I don't know. I mean, hanggang kailan itong pandemic nito? Maybe it would just be for a while. Maybe it would be longer. But if we have that hope in Christ, then as we go through this, as we struggle, as we uh, um, persevere, as we have challenges, as we have like victories uh, um, over the confusion and over the uh, fear, Yung hope talaga po ang importante. Who do you hope on? What do you um, put your hope on? If it's in Christ, then it would lead us to um, live lives even amidst the pandemic glorifying to God. Right? And I don't want to be naive that everyone who's watching this are born-again believers and if you're watching this for the very first time or if you're watching this and you're not sure if you're a genuine believer mga kaibigan uh, hindi aksidente na hikinig kayo hindi aksidente na pakinggan nyo ito ang pag-asa po ay matatagpuan lamang sa isang malalim at personal relasyon sa Panginoong Diyos e Kristo Jesus and that happens when you place your trust when you put your trust in Him um, upang sa ganun ay um, ang ating eternity will be secured kasi alam din natin sa Biblia na yung mga taong namumuhay para sa kanilang sarili those who do not care about uh, the things of God would someday meet God and would um, be in eternal torment so we need to understand that we are sinners on our own we cannot please god and we need someone to save us and jesus christ is that person siya lamang po wala nang iba good works cannot save us being part of a religious group would not save us but trusting god repenting of our sins and running to god in repentant faith would save and if God is steering your hearts right now, wag na magpatumpik-tumpik. The Bible is very clear. Today is God's is the time of God's favor. Now is the hour of salvation. I pray deep in my heart that as you are in your, perhaps in your cars, in your homes, in your offices, I pray that you would just uh, ask Him to save you. Uh, um, go to Him. And... Um, Beseech Him to, to uh, indeed give you eternal life. Let me just pray. Lord, we thank You that uh, to those of us whom by grace and through faith in Your 
perfect son, have this hope. Salamat na marami po, Panginoon Diyos, that this is an encouragement for us that as we go through difficulties, especially in this pandemic, we have hope. We have hope. Certainly, there will be days wherein we would be struggling. There would be uh, scary days, um, um, days wherein we would be confused and we would be uh, doubting. Pero salamat, Panginoon Diyos, dahil may salita ninyo. Your word is pure and truth. And that we use your word, Lord, para po encourage kami. And we thank you for that. We thank you that sa likod at kabila ng napaka maingay na takbo ng mundo, especially now, eh, meron po kaming kapayapaan dahil po sa pag-asa ng aming um, pinangahawakan. And to those, Lord, who may not have this hope, to this person, Lord, to uh, this person listening right now, and we pray that you would just save them. Save this uh, friend, Lord. Say, save this uh, um, young man, Lord. Save this young woman, Lord. We pray na maunawahan nila ang pangailangan nila sa inyo. And I pray that you would be gracious unto them and that you would make them cry out to, to God. And, and kapatid, mga kaibigan, uh, it's, it's hindi natin kalugihan tumawag sa Panginoon Diyos. Just cry out to Him. Lord, I need you. Lord, I... I pray that you would save me. I pray that you would forgive me of my sins. I pray that you would give me grace to repent of these sins. And I pray that you would give me eternal life. And if you would come to him, if you would cry out to him, he would not show you away. And I pray, Lord, indeed, that um, souls are um, being saved right now and um, people are being encouraged to rededicate their lives to you and to be serious about living for you. Again, we thank you, Lord, for that hope. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you that uh, there's a blessed hope. There's, there's a glorious hope that awaits a genuine follower of Christ. We pray that you would bless this day, and we pray that, indeed, that hope would be evident, Lord, in how we live this day for you. Salamat na sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you and have a great day.